Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series I take a Smurf account for this account. Never played Ranked before and showed the adventure to Diamond. Uh, the reason why I paused in my intro is... Uh, th they banned Vlad? I was going to play Vlad. Because, um, yeah, Vlad apparently in the comments section... I, you know, I am looking in the comments every single video. Uh, Vlad was a highly like wanted champion and I didn't even own him. I literally just bought Riot Points to buy Vlad. And he gets banned by my own teammate. Oh well, um, but yeah, I, I do listen to you guys. Obviously, Rumble um, the other a couple episodes ago or yesterday's episode. Um, that was because I saw people in the comment section wanting it. So you know, I do look as long as it's something that I like enjoy. Ooh, sign first pick. At least I know what I'm against. That's cool. Um, Scion is a weird pick too, because like some Scions were like basically play ag aggressive and do pretty well but a lot of scions will just max e rush like banner or command and just play the most passive that they ever can and just won't really do much apart from that and it's really annoying but yeah i don't know um i'm in the mood i will say i'm in the mood for so oh wait uh that makes things odd Again, there always could be a situation that it's like a one trick, you know, saying he's going to play it anywhere. So that could be Trindamir Jungle. It could be Scion support. Like, again, maybe. I doubt it, but it could. I'm thoroughly confused. Okay, so it could be. Okay, one of two situations is it's the weird Scion mid pick. It's, it's the weird Scion pick mid pick that I said was just stupid to do. Or it's like. There's like arguing going on of going, I'm top lane. No, I'm top lane. There could also be that. Um, possibly. So I don't really know. So I'm, I'm basically have to pick something that's good versus both. I've got an idea of what I want to pick. And a lot of people are going to be surprised, but I don't even know if I own the champion. I'm actually, I'm not going to say anything just in case I don't. And I don't. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So I'm presuming this is going to be a dodge. <laughs> Uh, if this isn't a dodge, then yeah, okay. Um, I'll go Darius. It's not the pick that I was wanting to do, by the way. Um, but yeah, I presume this is going to be a dodge. So, yeah. But Darius is good versus both Trindamir and, um, Scion. Okay. If the game goes through, yay. Because I think we should win relatively for free. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just end the, the, the champion select now. If we're in, if this is a video, well, this is happening. So uh, let's go. All right, so welcome to the loading screen that we use all these stats and stuff. So the game did go through. Uh, again, I'm still thinking that someone's going to AFK and then it's going to be a remake. But anyway, uh, you've got a Diamond 5, Diamond 5, both haven't played the champion. Plat 1, uh, Platinum 5, Platinum 5, again, haven't played the champ. Plat 2, Plat 4, Diamond 5, Plat 1, Plat 1. Negative win rates on three of my teammates. One negative win rate over here. Pause it if you want to look at that more. But I, I have no idea. Literally no idea of what's going on. Um, so yeah. First game of the day as well. Uh, again, I still partially think that this could be a remake. That like someone's going to see common sense and kind of go, oh, I'm going to just like AFK from the start. But I will say, like, they... Obviously, it's a stupid team comp. But in a weird way, if it gets late game, they... It is scary. Like, what they have is kind of scary. <clears throat> if the Caitlyn miss positions, then, um... We're screwed. Is what I'd say. Um, because if she miss positions and she gets, like, you know... Hecarim ulted with the, with the Yi running at her. With the Trinomir, like, critting. With speed up and a... Decide, like, again, it's gonna be interesting. But saying that... We have two champions that counters their engage quite hard. One is uh, Alistair. Alistair can just, like, bump somebody away or, like, cue them, like, three of them at the same time. And Anivia. Um, you know, he doesn't have flash. He has to, like, they're running champions, right? Well, she has a wall that stops running champions. So, and she has a cue that, you know, if you use it in a straight line, or someone's running at you in a straight line, it just stuns them. So... In theory, our Anivia should do pretty well uh, against that comp. But again, it depends if it's a good Anivia or not. Um, she should have a relatively free lane against a Yi. Um, so that's good. Hi, Trindamir. So he actually went Doran's shield versus me. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to go W first for last hitting, I think. So it's a Zillion and a Scion bot lane? Like, I haven't even checked. I don't know if anybody from the Twitch chat can have a look if any of them are duo Q. Because, like, you, you never know. Like, two of them could be duo Q and have just caused chaos in, like, random weird picks. So I don't really know. I'm going to try and go for, like, really good last hits. At least. Because, again, I can kill this Trendamir, but it's easier to kill him at, like, level four. Level 4 to 5 and potentially even level 6 is my kill window on this guy. Because uh, again, a lot of people think that Trindamir counters Darius. It's kind of the other way around as long as you're playing smart Darius. As long as you don't ult when he thinks you're going to ult. Yeah, it's a really good pick. Like, yeah, you could just waste your ultimate with his, but... Yeah. Okay... Plank. So far, I've had perfect CS. Oh, I missed one. Missed two. Oh, well. It was going to happen eventually. Um. So, again, farm-wise, I'm presuming all lanes should win. Like, again, we have advantage in every single lane, so... Technically, we should win. Uh, you got to remember that the Trindamir, like, shouty thing, it isn't just a slow, which a lot of people think is just a slow. It also actually reduces AD. Um... Like, that's why when you're fighting a Trindamir, always be a little bit careful of that. Because, yeah, it literally just removes AD from you. Also, I'm a little bit freaked out that I haven't seen Hecarim. Again, we're, we're past the... Uh, okay, so he did that. Uh, we're past the three-minute mark, so they can't remake now. But, yeah. Hopefully, we'll be okay. Hecarim's top. Uh, he's got rid of my ward instantly. But that, that trade you saw was a positive trade and he had full rage. So we're still trading positive with full rage. Wow. Shivana is looking to counter jungle? Oh, so Hecarim's back now in mid. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Again, we are obviously expecting that lane to win. I thought I might have killed him there. Again, you have to remember he's not a Trindamid player, so he might not know his exact strengths. But that's good. Like I said to you guys earlier, my window of killing him was like level 4 to level 6-ish. So that's why I was like kind of going for it a little bit more there. If he's not careful, he's dead. Like, I'm, I'm hoping he thinks I've gone back. So if he comes, like, here to kill these ranged minions, I'm going to try and kill him. Obviously, he's got healing. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have E anymore. This, if he goes for this minion. Not enough. Oh. That was a, an interesting time for me to level up, but I was actually looking at my XP bar. Guessing the Trindamir didn't know about my XP bar. Nice. And the all typing. Again, all typing is always interesting to me. Shows that he's probably going to tilt. Okay, cool. Again, always know... Well, one thing I will say is... And I, what I'm actually tempted to do this game is actually go Triforce. Because I think I've gotten a snowball. I might... Yeah, let's do Triforce. Um... I don't know, what was I saying? Oh, people that don't look at their XP bar are uh, interesting. Nice. Again, this game is relatively free as long as like we just snowball this bot lane. Like I said, this game is very much like make Caitlyn fed, we win game. 
So that's why I went for that teleport play. Like, I'm confident I'll just beat this um, Trindamir now. Kate, um, Anivia's roaming, gets one kill. Caitlyn's going for the Zillion. Oh, that Q missed. Well, there we go. Again, this game's going really well. Yi's here. She did just walk straight into him, but this should be completely fine. Q. Trap on him. That was relatively misplayed, but I think he should be still dead by the Shivana. Oh, yeah, he's dead. This game is really free. I, I am really surprised that this game went through. Um, like, no one on the enemy team wanted to dodge, I guess. Which is, again, really surprising, but whatever. Okay. Yeah. Boom. So, ah! Uh, Aussie <laughs> Cannon. We do give up, obviously, a little bit of farm for roaming down bot lane, but I think that was worth... Uh, it gives my Caitlyn, like, again, it gives her another kill. Uh, yeah, like... Even though Darius is very much a solo champion, you still want to get involved with your team. And we got, I think, an assist for it. So it's not like we got nothing. We're still ahead of gold on the Trindamir. Damn. If you can E him after he's used that, it's huge, by the way. Because then he just can't get away from you. Because that's his escape. So if you pull him after, then he literally is, like, screwed. So he doesn't want to go for farm if I'm near it. Which shows he's scared. We did see Hecarim walk into his blue jungle. So this likelihood of Hecarim coming top lane is pretty high at the moment. So let's just push that in and then walk away. There is a ward there, but my control ward is getting rid of its vision. Yeah, they're just going to... This is exactly... This is the exact reasoning why I was fine to go for that teleport play. Because they're just going to snowball. There is a chance that Hecarim is still top. Um, but there is also, and I will say, there is also a chance that I could... Okay. There's also a chance that I could 2v1. Oh, I didn't get R off in time. It was a little bit of a shame that Shivana went to go base here. It's kind of annoying, because I don't think she was low health from memory, or like what I saw. So she kind of just abandoned me completely, but whatever. I could have... I, I will say I probably could have 2v1 that if I played it a little bit better. Or if I had flash. If I had flash, I could definitely have 2 v one Um, But yeah. Close. And I'm definitely not... I'm not in the Darius power spike yet, so... Damn. I needed to kill the Hecarim first because obviously I used my ult on the Hecarim to give me the full stack of my passive to then auto-attack the Trindomir. But, yeah. But Shivana is just ignoring top lane completely. Is she going to go on top lane after to help the tower? Nope. Okay. Wow. Like, again, are these two duo Q? Because, like, I just don't understand why they'd ever do that, like, combo. Unless they think or thought it would work. I, I don't know. It's a bit odd. Um, people having a comment if you're Garen. Garen. Uh, Garen kind of, like, I, well, Garen, just to say, Garen was the champion I was going to play in this game. Because I wanted to basically do a game. Of show like basically I would title the video League's most basic champion. And that is also why uh Garen sucks is he's the probably in the game the most one-dimensional champion in the game. So that is very easy to counter, not just like in like in a 1v1 sense it's easy to counter, but in team fights, in anything. But yeah. Uh people are saying that these two are duo Q. That kind of sucks. We're kind of like just trolling. I wonder why. Obviously, again, I'm not gonna pin them the whole thing in this game. Obviously, it's a big reason, but uh, you know, we've got a there's a Yi mid, which is a bit odd. So it's a weird game in general. Like you've got a Trindomir that's never played Trindomir before. Like, is the Yi a one trick? No, he's played one game of Yi. So yeah, Scion. Has played six games of Scion and has got a 33% win rate. Trindomir is complaining about luck when he's playing a champion that he has no experience on. You know, if by the way, if I was in this type of game and you have like a trolling bot lane and stuff, the best thing to do is play a champion you know how to play like amazingly well because that gives you the biggest chance of carrying your game, right? I've got a troll bot lane. I'm going to play my like pocket pick. 
that makes sense. What doesn't make sense is going on, I'm going to play a champion that, well, can get countered very easily by the team comp that's already been picked. Um, and I've never played him before. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> interesting that he's got a random Vampiric Scepter there, by the way. I guess he just really wanted sustain. In a 1v1 fight, there is actually a chance that he could kill me if I'm not careful. Okay. Don't know where the enemy he is, but I... I ooh. That was really odd. Okay. I have definitely, definitely, definitely done that before. But it, I flashed over him and he still ran through. Where this time I still got pushed back. Alright. <laughs> again, I, maybe that's it. Okay, I'll get an assist for the thingy. Oh, he's got no ult. Oh. Um, so yeah, I guess Hecarim, the only lane that he's ganking is top. But I guess it's the only lane that he can do stuff. But yeah, like I said, I, I've definitely done that flash play before. And I've basically, as soon as he's done the E, you flash past him. Where in that sense, I did flash past him, but I still got pushed back. So that's a bit unfortunate, um, but yeah. So the Trinity really wants them to get reported. Ha, <laughs> she just walled him off. Uh, I love that. It's one of the biggest reasons I love Anivia versus... Oh, it, it pretty much is the biggest reason I love Anivia versus Scion. Yeah, it might be a timing issue, potentially. But I thought I did it. I thought I did what like, I normally do. But obviously not. Or oh, they fixed it. I haven't done it. Again, Hecarim hasn't been a popular pick in a very long time. So maybe they fixed it. In the time that he hasn't been popular. I will say, just to make, again, the, the PSA public service announcement. What Trindamir is actually doing is technically reportable. Asking for reports in all chat is actually reportable. Right have said so themselves. And also that they confirm the report system doesn't care if you report people multiple times. It's about report consistency. So if you, on average, get reported in most of your games, that's where you'll get punishment. Um, so many people get confused about the report system. Of thinking like, you know, they think their first punishment is the first time they ever were toxic. But no, you're getting... Re like, if you're a, let's say, a bit more of a negative or toxic individual, you're getting reported all the time. You're not getting punished straight away. It adds up. But a lot of people get really confused about it. I have a funny feeling that Hecarim's just going to come top lane again. Because it's the only lane that he's had success with. And they can definitely dive me with a Trindamir ult. Uh, usually, again, some people say, why haven't we roll swap? Because obviously my bot lane is doing really well. We haven't got top lane tower. Because, again, in a lane that is, like, not really a bot lane and look at their scores, you may as well just drive that home. You may as well just keep absolutely shoving them into the ground. Because you're not going to get punished for it. Like, Hecarim has shown that he doesn't really care about ganking bot lane. He's only really going top lane. So you just keep it going. Add, keep the pressure up. And you'll just win the game that way. Hmm, we might be able to kill him. Well, there's a control ward in there. Oh, Hecarim. Legit, this is the only... Oh, wow. Damn. The crit. I guess Hecarim didn't think we knew he was in there, but we did. Would have been nice to kill him too, but whatever. Oh, wait, what? Uh, how did he get above me? Am I missing something? I'm Honestly, I am thoroughly confused of what just happened. Can it, did anybody know what just happened? It doesn't matter because we're killing them, but like, huh? It, it, what it looked like from like my initial, it looked like he came out like the bush. 
and was like, hey, I came out the bush. I've been here the entire time. Obviously, I don't think he was. I think he must have, I th he must have like, went this way? Possibly? I, I don't know. I have no idea what just happened. So if anybody knows, feel free to tell me. Uh, okay. So very, oh my god, 10 zero, 4 Again, like, we've, we've confirmed that these two are duo queue, and like, my head keeps going back to like, oh, maybe they're doing a cheese climb, and like, that's what they normally do. Again, they haven't played the champs. So it's not like they do it all the time, and it works. Oh. God, wait, that made my AD go down by 60-odd. Whoa, I did not realize it was that much. I thought it made your AD go down by about 40, not 60. Oh, I couldn't get the ult off of Yi because he pressed Q. Hey! I could have got a triple kill there. If I got my ultimate off of... If I got my ultimate on Yi, I would have got a triple kill. But uh, honestly, in a, in, a 2v, in a 2v3 situation, you kill two of them. And your bot lane has pressure. Your mid lane has pressure. Worth. Yeah, really close to me getting a triple kill there. I just needed to get that ult off on the Yi, but he pressed Q. He outskilled me. Kappa. I want to actually do a little bit of research on that bot lane and just see, like, what do they do? Do they cut the, Are they just doing troll stuff? Like, you know. Um, some stuff they're doing is troll. Some of it isn't. Like, the, the Scion two hours ago played Tarek support. We pressed the attack and exhausted heal. So, like... Uh, oh, it does seem that this... The, the Zillion player might be a Master Yi one trick. Oh, that may be why they've trolled. That may be why they trolled, potentially. If I've clicked on the right person, that Zillion might be a Yi one trick. And because this guy took Yi, he may be trolling. I don't know. Something like that. Interesting. Uh, for, by the way, just to make sure why people are aware, why did I go Triforce this game? Um... Triforce is obviously really good versus Trindamir. Here. Because uh, the burst. I was literally trying to explain the point. The burst sometimes is a little bit too much for a Trindamir to comprehend. Because they kind of like, you know, a Trindamir likes to fight people nice and slow. Oh, we're kind of just hitting each other. <laughs> we're just kind of hitting each other and then I'll press my ultimate. Triforce Darius, too much burst. That like you just saw, I basically just one shot him and he didn't react in time to press R. That's why you get Triforce versus a Trindamir. Uh, it's well, you get it if you're playing well and the game's basically free. But I will say, obviously, we know it's very early on. This guy's an all typer. He's moaning and stuff. So even if this game was an ultimate troll game, this guy could tilt like really easily. Um, you know. And I've made a few mistakes this game, but a lot of the mistakes I've had has been in just getting ganked. I think all of my deaths have been from getting ganked, if I'm not mistaken. So this Trindom is saying what he's saying, getting carried. Well, a lot of his strength that he's had in top lane has been from the jungler. So, you know. Swings and roundabouts. But the Trindom won't see that. God, Caitlyn's 12 and 0. Guess again that you give you give this type of player a free game against a troll bot lane and you know, they'll just like easily win. You think he's being sarcastic? No. The Trindom is not being sarcastic, you can tell. I'll say just as like a, a basic PSA type thing is that pretty much no one is sarcastic in all chat. It's not the place people be sarcastic in. Um, again, the, 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 the actual point of all chat for me of it's the reason why it exists in the game, I think is because it's, it's a gaming staple that, you know, you can talk to your enemies, but the actual use of it, I don't think exists in League of Legends. Uh, the only thing I use all chat for is to see which of my enemy is tilted. That's it. It's the sole reason I use all chat. So, yeah. 
Zillion altered himself, I think. Yep. <laughs> Zillion just altered himself instead of the Scion. Rip. And also, he can't say... He was the one that initiated all the all chat, didn't he? He was typing an all chat before anybody else. Oi, oi, oi. Alright. Relatively free game. Uh, <laughs> shut up, right clicker. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. And they surrender. Okay, there we go. Um, Odd game. And I guess this is a lesson of don't uh, troll in ranked... I don't know. Um, obviously, our win condition was the Caitlyn, which is why, as you guys know, I teleported down early to bot lane to make sure that they didn't die in that gank. Which, again, gets rid of top lane pressure from me, but I didn't care because Caitlyn was our win condition. So I'll give it to her. She played well. She basically took the opportunity she was given by the enemy team and just took it, and she like did really well with it. Because, you know, again, troll stuff occasionally will work because people, like, underestimate it, and then they'll feed against it. But, uh, yeah. All right, so we got an A+. Plus. We were the only person on my team that didn't get an S, unfortunately. But we would go 5 4 269 farm. We're in pro mode to plat 1. And then damage done. We do the second most damage in the game. Caitlyn obviously doing the farm most, and then me in second. And then really close, actually. Alistair does more than the Anivia. Um, and, like, all of us, literally all five of us, do more than any of them. So... Really odd game, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Um, hopefully you found the Trindamira entertaining, because I know I did. Uh, but yeah, like it, subscribe. See you guys next time. See ya.